Hi, everyone. My name is Siddharth, and my co-author, Owen, and I are delighted to have this opportunity to present this work uh, to you. Thanks to the service science section for recognizing this work. So this work is about resource allocation in public services, incorporating utility heterogeneity and income disparity. So to ground this in practice, let's consider a public service corporation like a water and sewerage board uh, that is trying to allocate water to its residents in a water stressed region. So as an example, Chennai is an Indian metropolis with over 8 million uh, residents and it routinely faces water shortages. It tries to address these water shortages by sending these water tankers out into the city and these water tankers deliver water to customers in return for payments. However, the system doesn't work very well because what happens is affluent people tend to depend on uh, private suppliers at exaggerated costs. So the uh, water and sewerage board is able to recover money only from poor customers and therefore they have a very limited capacity that they're able to supply. And uh, they're essentially not able to reach everyone because of this. Okay, so we'll consider a public service provider's resource allocation problem, for example, a water tanker, serving customers who are heterogeneous in a water stressed region. And what we seek to understand is how to allocate both the water and the payment for this water. And these two problems of how to allocate the water and collect payments for it are coupled. Okay, and in this setup, Achieving efficient and equitable outcomes is often challenging for three reasons. One, we need to make sure that we're addressing, addressing a scarcity issue. Maybe there's a minimum amount of water required for survival, and we need to make sure our allocation approach takes note of that. Meet minimum needs, but you still need to recover costs. So you need to design your allocation scheme carefully. Secondly, you need to account for income heterogeneity. Luckily, you can observe and screen based on income. But still, if you allocated ignoring income heterogeneity, you'd just end up allocating based on willingness to pay, which means somebody like Mr. Monopoly, who's rich, would receive much more water than Alice uh, because he's just willing to pay more. The other challenge is to leverage utility heterogeneity. So for example, Darth Vader may value water more than Yoda. How can we leverage this fact? Although this information of Darth Vader valuing water more is private to Darth Vader. Okay, how do we leverage this information? So our proposal in the face of this uh, challenge is an income dependent menu approach. So let's consider four types of customers. These two customers are richer than these two customers and the, allocate, the allocation authority knows this. These two customers have a higher utility for additional water once basic utility is met, but this is private information to these individuals. So you cannot screen explicitly based on this utility information. Okay, so let's consider an example where you're trying to allocate 16 units of water and the basic need that needs to be fulfilled is one unit per person, along with 16 units of cost that you need to recover for these 16 units of water. So our proposal is as follows. First, offer everyone one unit of water for free. Subsequently, at each income level, offer a menu of water cost options. So for example, there's a high income menu and a low income menu. And the high income menu and low income menus could look like this, for example. So the high income menu gives you a choice between this amount of water with this amount of money or a little more water by paying a little more money. And Darth Vader and Mr. Monopoly could choose either of these options. Now, if these options are carefully designed to maximize aggregate welfare, you can target uh, a particular menu item to a particular individual and they will pick that item exactly. Okay, So that was just a theoretical, uh, an illustrative example, but we illustrate the usefulness of our income dependent menu approach using two case studies with real data. The first is allocating water in Chennai and we compare allocation schemes that allocate 180 liters of water for free. And relative to a simple approach that does not take into account income information, similar to what they currently do, the income dependent menu approach is able to close over 90% of the gap to the theoretical first best solution. And in an entirely different kind of allocation problem, we consider allocating community solar capacity in the state of Florida. And similar to the water example, we close over 90% of the gap to a theoretical first best. So in summary, 
common allocation approaches often ignore either income heterogeneity or resource utility heterogeneity. We extend mechanism design approaches to jointly optimize multiple menu approaches to handle both these sources of heterogeneity. We identify some structural properties that uh, are in the paper. And we show using two practical examples that this is not just a theoretical, uh, theoretically useful. We're able to actually close in real examples over 90% of the gap to the first best solution relative to more commonly used simpler approaches. Thank you very much for your attention.